What's going on everyone? So I wanted to give a quick updated tutorial video on how to utilize TradingView and paper trade on this platform. So we're gonna cover a couple different things really quick, do some live trades, some simulations and all that good stuff. So you guys can get a good feel for how this all works and you can get off on your way. If you don't have TradingView or you're looking for a link to check it out, there'll be a link in the video pinned or description box down below, pinned comment or description box down below. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull up an advanced chart uh, like this. So for example, if I were to go back to, let's say the home page of TradingView, give it a second to load up, you'll come to a page uh, like this. I have my account, I have TradingView Premium, so I essentially pay um, for all the bells and whistles, but you don't necessarily need to have all that stuff. And I don't recommend someone who is new just get set up with the highest paid version. You can start with the cheapest version, start with the free version, uh, 30 day free trials and all that good stuff to check everything out. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do is type in a stock or whatever I wanna trade. Um, and then we'll get to the page that makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and do this on. So for example, say I wanna look at end phase, uh, I'll pull end phase up, I'll launch the chart. If you click on end phase, like from that page, you'll come to a page that looks like this, happens to be on my watch list and uh, everything is kind of lined up. And phase had earnings, big sell-off after earnings, and I think we can potentially come down and fill this gap to the downside at some point here, but kind of holding on to this, this uptrend here, which I don't know how much legs, uh, how much of, a, of support this will actually end up being, as it's been about a week or two since we had a test of this line, but valid so far today. Either, either that that aside, you know, let's still cover end phase as, I'll cover end phase as an example uh, when it comes to paper trading here in just one second. So I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says trading panel. So on the bottom of our screen, you'll see that there's a little bit of a, a maximize panel button right here. Click on that. It'll pop this up and you can adjust this right here to whatever sizing you would like on the right hand side. Um, that'll come in handy in a bit, depending upon, you know, how much of your screen you have for charts and all that stuff. So a couple different things. I have starred different brokers that I have used myself. There's a lot of brokers you can connect. We've got some videos actually on the channel already showing you how to connect different brokers to TradingView. And then when you do that, you can easily trade on TradingView through pretty much the same exact stuff, the same exact way. Um, you're going to go ahead and use the paper trading platform. So paper trading is an option. I'm going to go ahead and connect my paper trading account. Click on connect. And now we are live. So underneath my account, we have an account balance of $10,019 or $10,019.50 up here. If I go underneath the paper trading uh, icon at the top left, what I can go ahead is I can set some settings. So I can reset my account and I can make it 100K, 10K, whatever number you want to. Let's say I want to reset to $100,000. Let's say I also want to go into the commission settings, okay? you might have commissions with a brokerage account. So if you're trying to test a strategy, uh, you probably should be testing it with commissions attached so that you can actually accurately depict what your trading would be like when you go to your live account, okay? So I click on uh, include commissions in paper trading. Uh, I can do a fixed number or a percent. Let's say that your commissions are, I don't know, a dollar. So I go over here, make my commissions a dollar, and I am good to go on that front. Um, there's also some more settings here. There's different trading settings, for example, um, that we have options to play with. This is going to be up to you to customize when it comes down to your own settings. But I have, these are the current settings I have right here. You can kind of see uh, if I want to change them times or change sounds and all these different things. I can go ahead and do them um, as I see fit, but that's ultimately up to you. So outside of that, there is, you can export your data. There's also some more things you can pull up underneath your summary. Right now, no positions, no orders. I got history, account history, trading journal I can actually add to, which is pretty cool. These little three dots on the right-hand side can allow me to select time or text. Um, nothing insane in terms of the, op the options you have in front of you, but nonetheless, still useful. Still something that I would highly recommend you utilize if you're looking to get practice trading without using real money. So... You see people using TradingView, you see people using all these charts, like, oh man, I wanna get started, I wanna try this, I wanna test these different strategies. Well then go ahead and use the paper trading feature that they got here on TradingView, okay? No options with this feature uh, as of now. I'd imagine that's probably something that TradingView is looking to ultimately implement at some point in the future. But um, when we are filming the video, no ability to do options or play options as of yet. So TradingView is much more of a, 
shares, shorting, futures, crypto. You can trade a lot of those different things, uh, but not options as of yet. Okay. So I'm on my, my paper trading account. Uh, I'm going to go down where it's, I'm going to click on the hide panel, this button right here. Now I got my, my big chart pulled up. If I want to enter trades, let's say I want to go to the five minute chart and enter trades based off the five minute chart. Okay. Come on in here. I go over to the right hand side of my panel, which let me make sure that you guys can see exactly what I see. Yes, you can. Right hand side, there's two things. Okay. There's the order panel, these two little arrows going up and down. And then there's the DOM and depth of market. So the DOM is kind of like your trading ladder almost in a sense. If you guys are familiar with, let's say other platforms that have ladders, it has all your price points. I can enter my limit orders uh, on the left hand side. Uh, on the right hand side as well, some sells and buys, buys on the right, sells or buys on the left, sorry, and sells on the right. Um, if I want to go further, there's more things I can do. I can change the amount of shares, which is in this case units. Um, there's also down here details week, time and force, week, month, good GTD or day. So if I was to click on, let's say today, that means this order expires today. If I go GTD, I can actually set an expiration uh, of when this order can ex will expire. Uh, week, it's up to you. So let's say I'm taking a trade that's going to be a swing or I'm looking at, let's say, the one, one year, one day chart, right? And I want to buy end phase, like down here. This is my buy zone, right? But I'm like, okay, I don't really care, you know, if, if it happens in the next couple of weeks, great. So I'll go ahead and I'll set time and force to month. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use my depth of market. I'll show you how to do it on the other plot, on the other uh, option as well, the order panel. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and find the price. Let's say the price is actually down here towards 196. Let's say I want to buy. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, make sure the units are set to the amount of shares I want to buy, find the price that I want to buy at, and I'm going to now set this order. Okay, go to limit, click on that right there, and boom. Now, of course, it just ultimately, or it actually just auto adjusted. It's in the after hours right now. So it's a little bit off, but let's say that I want to adjust this down. Boom. Bring this right down to the price that I want to adjust it to 196. Close enough. 196.02 is where I got it at. Okay. Boom. Now attached to this order. Okay. I can have a take profit and a stop. So what I like to do with, with especially with trading view, just I tend to use it more for future trading, which I can show you an example of as well here in a second. Um, I like to do, I like to have my take profit and stop enter at the exact same time, just because I want to uh, visualize that risk reward, right? It just makes it easier for me. So in this example, right, because the, the stock is trading up here at around 218, this buy will actually, you know, it might take some time. It may never actually fill, but let's say I get filled there. I'm going to bring my stop loss and say, I want to take my stop loss under this low right here, under 175. Okay. Bring it down to that 175 level. Okay. Boom. Now it tells me I'm going to risk $214 on this trade, but my take profit, I actually have a blue line right here. That's a line that I want to target. That's where I'm going to put my sell. My take profit's going to be up here. This is now, a, I'm able to clearly and easily visualize. Okay. Let me get rid of this. That I'm going to risk on this trade. If I get this buy that I want, I'm going to risk 214 bucks to make 658. That's a beautiful risk reward uh, profile. So for me, that's a, a trade that I want to take. And maybe that's, you know, you can, Apply this to however you see fit in your own trading and investing. Boom, that's using the depth of market. I can use something very, very similar. For example, on the right-hand side, go back to that order panel, those two arrows. Now, same kind of idea. So it's in the after hours, but let's say I wanted to get that limit buy right there on end phase. I'm going to go ahead, go to limit, take profit, stop loss. I'm going to go to that price that I want. Let's go to that 196 on the nose. I'm going to go with, let's say 100 units. That's 100 shares. I want to take my profits. Now I can set the dollar amounts that I want to risk, percentages, prices, whatever, ticks. In this case, for just trading shares of a stock, percentages or dollar amounts or price points might make sense. In my case, I want to put that 175 as my stop. I'm actually put like 174, you know, 75 as my stop, just under that whole psychological level. And I'm going to put my take profit up here at 260. Let's just go 260. Okay. 260 on the nose as, or, oh, sorry, I, I got it reversed. Okay. Take profits on the left. Let's go 260 right there. 260 on the nose. And then my stop loss is that 174.75. I might even adjust this to like 259. Um, point like 75, just so that I sell just prior to that psychological number in case it doesn't hit. 
I'm gonna be risking, it tells me dollar amounts right here. It tells me my, my percentage right here as well. Time and force, I might go month, okay? I got a month for this to fill and enter. Boom, same exact thing, just enter a different, a different way. Uh, you also have options for market orders, stop, stop orders as well. Um, that is if you utilize those in your own trading and investing, um, those are, that's like a whole other video in and of itself. If you want uh, more information, there's actually videos on the channel covering different order types and that stuff. If you're interested in checking that stuff out or you're not sure you're not too familiar, but basics here, you kind of get the point of how this works. If I click on the X of that buy limit, it's going to cancel both. It's going to cancel all those orders. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do a live example with some futures. So we got some videos up on the, the uh, channel here that cover how you can trade futures on TradingView. So you can connect brokers and whatnot, but let's say I want to paper trade some futures and practice some stuff. And let's say, you know, my fees are a dollar or $2 or $5. I can adjust those fees and uh, accordingly, right? And uh, set myself up. So let's say I want to go trade the micro e-mini S&Ps. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the five-day chart. So let's say I want to go long right now. Uh, oh, let's, say, let's say I want to go short. Let's say I'm seeing like some resistance right here, you know, right up in here. And I want to short this thing with the, uh, with the stop loss above that box, right? On the micro e-mini S&Ps. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull up my, you can of course use death and market. I'm going to go ahead and use the order panel. This is what I like to do. Of course, it depends on what you're uh, more interested in doing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go for a uh, limit order. I'm going to go with a limit. I don't really need to do a market. I could do a market. I'm just going to go with a limit right now. Take profit and stop loss. I'm going to go with a simple tick method where 70, I'm going to take profit at 75 ticks in my direction. And I'm going to take a stop loss 25 ticks against me. So it's a simple risk reward calculation. Of course, it depends upon how you want to play it. It tells me the dollar amounts here as well, the percentages and all that good stuff. Uh, in this case, I want to sell because I want to go short. So when I want to go short, I click on sell. And now it'll tell me exactly everything that I need to do. It tells me the price that I'm at. I can adjust this price. For example, if I wanted to adjust this price, I can adjust that limit price right there. Um, and I can adjust it by ticks or by the actual price. And uh, a lot of the same things you can do right here that we just talked about on the past example. So let's say I wanna go ahead and do this. Let's just adjust that price to this 4131 exactly on the nose and click on sell. Okay, so now our sell limit is in. It has the visual right here. I'm gonna risk 30 bucks to make this. That's if I use those ticks, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my stop loss to right here, just north of that zone. And I'm gonna take my profit target down towards, let's just say down towards the low of the day, which is down right here. So if it fills, it's actually now pushing just below the limit price. If it, if it fills, great. If not, I can adjust that price, simply drag the order down, and now we're filled. And now it will do a live calculation of my current P&L and the current projections for what I could take profit on and what I could have my stop loss on. If I hover over the stop loss, it has a negative 14 ticks, that's where my stop loss is at, and a negative 0.08%. And I take profit here is 33 ticks in my direction or 0.2% in my direction, okay? Pretty straightforward. Because it's uh, after hours, we don't really see tons of uh, volume unless there's news or whatnot coming out. So I might want to go ahead and take profits or cut my stop loss off early. Let's say I want to hit my stop loss. I'll adjust it down and let's move the stop loss right down to pretty much where we're at. If we get hit, it'll take me out. Boom. Take me out for a $2.50 loss. But that right there, my friends, is how you can utilize the paper trading platform here on TradingView, trading futures, trading shares, however you see fit. So Make sure you use this before you get started, especially if you're testing new strategies, testing new things. Let's say you're, you're jumping into futures for the first time. Please, please try paper trading when you're uh, getting started with this stuff. So this is like how you utilize TradingView paper trading in 2023. If I jump over here, go back to my account, we've actually lost a few dollars. Our account's now worth $99,995.50. Now, why is that? Because you was like, hey, wait, you only lost like a few dollars in that trade. Well, if I go to the history, what you'll see right here is that Yes, it has all my histories, my filled prices and all that stuff. There's a commission, $1 commission on the buy or the initial sell, and then $1 commission on the buy. So one commission, a dollar commission both ways. Make sure that those commissions are set to what it's gonna be on your platform. So let's say I trade the micro minis and the commissions are you know 60 cents or whatever they are. I will set that accordingly when I'm trading the micro minis, okay? If I'm practicing and building a strategy for myself. So that's how it works in a nutshell. Hopefully this video is helpful. And I will see you guys in a future video. Any other links, resources, trading view will be linked up down below in the video description box and pinned comment. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.